got this in the mail. I'm going to make a project out of it. So please see what it is. It's a Folger Atom prison lock or a detention lock. <clears throat> I have some blanks that I'm going to look at and see. No. This blank is <clears throat> the closest. This is a reverse of it. So that won't work. But this one. I think with some modification will work. See a mark right here. Right there as well. Um, so the blank will take some modification to get into the lock. Those are some roll pins. That's interesting. Do I pry this off? Yep. Pry is right off. This one doesn't even have serrated teeth. So it's a, it is a more modest variant. If I have urine on my hands now, I should have thought of that. This is a lower security lock, though, so perhaps it was just for something like a holding room. If it was a cell lock or something like that, it would probably have serrated pins to keep the killers in. Let's take in some pictures for documentation. Went ahead and numbered the levers. I called them pins earlier, my bad, but uh, <clears throat> number the levers. This is the bottom most to the top most. So, of course, cut one, cut five. Um, and if you look in here, you can see the shiny spot where the warding isn't right. So, they're basically right angles on the bottom. And so mine are not. They're 45, roughly. So I've got to make them into um, 
right angles, basically, to get it to to go in. No big deal. I could probably use a one of my slotting machines over here to do that, um, or even a hand file. But here's what the goal or a, a success will look like, and I only have one key blank. So that's what. I want it to do whenever all the components are back together. Game on. Um, I've put in two of the five levers and I went ahead and etched them with a carbide because the paint's going to rub off. But while I have um, this right here, I wanted to show it real quick, uh, just kind of the function of it. But whenever you put a key in, correct or not, it's going to turn a little bit and it's going to contact the bolt. Okay, you can see it spin under there. The post or the fence, uh, the gate, lever, it's going to bind against, you know, the lever, depending if, uh, if it's incorrect or not, or if you're picking it or whatnot. Say it's uh, not high enough. It'll do this or it's too high. It'll block like that. But if it's just right, it'll go in and allow you to withdraw the bolt. And similarly, you must lift the lever in the same way to lock it. And then why stop there says the engineer. So let's add five total to this one. And mind you, this one doesn't even have serrated teeth on the levers. So it's not even considered probably modern by today's standard, uh, standards oh, or high security. So it's going to be a going to be a fun time making a key for this dude just making a quick video update I charged my Dremel and I got to work and I set basically a 45 degree angle all the way down widened this to a 90 all the way down and now the key goes into the uh, the lock. <coughs> Excuse me. And it actually kind of wiggles because I've created enough warding space for it to pass through. But now it's a little too long. And I must trim it down a hair figure I'll just use a warding file not exactly sure how much I need to file away Probably a lot more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is very close. It's hard to look through a magnifying glass. That's what this is right here. Okay. 
All right. <clears throat> it's somewhat, somewhat some progress. Oops. take a little more material away from the very very uh, top or bottom of the key an indication I've come up with a plan to track my progress progress has been made to determine whether warding is biting or uh, bottom of the keyway and it's probably bottom of the keyway yeah but I think I'm gonna go ahead and widen the warding cut just be safe. I think I see something. So scared of cutting through the the blank, man. Mm. Rusty, 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 rusty. See the mark? Um, probably gonna get a phone call right now. Right here. That slip mark right there. Long video, sorry. 
Now it's worked all the way to that portion that I filed. So now we will move to that again. Will he use the Dremel? Hmm. Oops, broke the top. Damn, Dremel doesn't like to turn off. So I've also shapened this portion of the blank, really trying to get this bastard to fit it, you know, into the lock. And it's, uh, it's working. It's way in there. Hmm. Almost, man, almost. That's got to be a mark. Super exciting development. I've been modifying away, and it's finally just about there. I'm not quite sure what is hanging it up right now but it is gauged. It's just a little tight. I'll just clean up all the edges one more time so I can show you a little bit what I've been doing. Hope it works. Oh baby, it's smooth now. Oh ho, we're halfway there now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Here's the first lever in it, and as you can see the blank is too high, but I'm going to kind of twist it a little bit, get that impression mark right there, right there. Let's just see how it lines up. Damn near on the money. Not wide enough. You can see it. Needs to be widened. Just a bit. Progress has been made. Oh yeah, baby. There's two.
Oh shit. Number two is a no cut. Haha. <laughs> what fun. At least I believe. Yeah. Three. Number three needs to be filed down a little bit. Hit it with some permanent marker. Be right back. Back to filing. I've marked the location that I need to focus on. I'm going to try and keep it square. See that distance? I need to file a little bit more. I need to widen it also. Okay. I knew there was one or two that were similar and they're the no cuts. Cool. <clears throat> now the last one. I don't know. Ooh. Looks like I'm gonna have to cut it deep. Spot check. Okay. See how they're all locked in. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to quickly try to knock this out. As you can see, I'm pretty cautious not to file too deeply. I don't want to fuck up the only blank that I have that I've spent so long working on. Just trying to square it up. to the first god damn that thing's deep it's almost a little bit more a little bit more please be a little bit more
is about there. All right, let's test it. Yeah, baby. So a little rough. The sticky one should mark. I do believe it's the last one we worked on. We have to wrap this up. It's not perfect. It works. There it is. Easier to reassemble when it's locked. Noted. Oh yeah, smooth as butter. Job done. Job done. That took forever and a lot of custom work but I nailed it I nailed it and I'm proud damn proud bucket list item completed can you say you've done this prison lock all keys lost one key originated the end